What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to edit a very basic highlights in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to give away uh, some various presets of pre-shake and impact as well as the beat shake. So make sure you do subscribe as it does help me out a lot. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing you want to do is just go ahead and drag on your song. And uh, find the beat and usually the beat about right here. Uh, just find your beat, just play through the song, uh, click. M to mark and right there I got mine already marked then drag on your first clip drag the audio down so you can drag the clip up and then just drag this back uh, up. and then find where the kill is you can just trim by dragging that back and then so go into the beat and then just find where the kill is so about right there and now it's synced perfectly and before you do that make sure your project kings are at 60 fps 1080p and if it isn't, just go ahead and copy this all, uh, and delete the timeline right here, and then, uh, recopy it into the next one. So, go ahead and go into retime controls, add a speed point right on your kill, and then go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 frames back, and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then go back to the kill and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, so right here, you're going to put this to 50. And then put this to 400. And then put this, to, uh, sorry, this to 400. Put this to 150. And then put this to 50. So now you got this. And if it makes all that uh, weird of noise, make sure you do unlink these clips by right clicking the clip in. I'm linking and then you can just switch that back. One fifty and then switch to fifty. Okay, so now you get the So once you go ahead and do that you can uh, lower the clip volume. What I like doing is lowering it to about one twenty. Or sorry. 20. I think ten will do good for this case. So then you add your sound effects later. And I'll link a pump sound effect after. Go ahead and drag in your adjustment clip. So we're going to be making uh, impact. I have the preset for you guys. So you guys do not have to uh, go ahead and uh, <clears throat> make your own. So go ahead and just download the preset. Uh, and uh, So it's going to be the RGB impact. So go ahead and drag that on. And then just connect the things like so and if there's the keyframes if it's not going like that go into go to keyframes and zoom out select all these and then just bring them back and you can keep zooming in and make sure you your cursor is at the very beginning so then you can uh, select all these again and bring it right on top of it and you can keep zooming in keep zooming in until you get pretty close it needs to be uh, fairly close and you can even open up one of them so there right here as you can tell is perfectly aligned since the first keyframe of an effect is right on top of it so, so it looks just like this and if you want to be able to play it back make sure you're in chord resolution and then you can put smart on as well and put this on quarter res or switch it back to quarter res and then now you should, should be able to pre it a little bit and uh if you don't want that on uh the the render cache on just Put it back to user. And then it should just uh, work pretty fine. And then just go ahead and go to here, and then the end of the clip. So about right here, this is where all the, this is where the uh, shake ends or the, the shake ends. Just go ahead and split Control or Control B or Command D if you're on Mac. Just Control B and then Control B, just like this. And then um, you got your thing. Uh, set. You're gonna drag in your second clip, drag that on, and then find the next beat. 
so right here there's two beats right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a beat shake on the first beat and then hit the second beat also uh sorry i forgot to build up on this clip so just go ahead and drag an adjustment clip and before the kill go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 still 30 frames before it's control b right there go on to here and add uh, my pre shake and just put this into right here and go ahead and just zoom out and you'll find the keyframe just, uh, select over it, control a and and just drag this back or um, you can just select over them and go like that go like that so if you keep zooming in getting closer get as close as possible super close okay I'm just gonna try to get until I line this so keep just zooming it in and uh, finding the like perfect keyframe or make sure it is perfectly aligned so go ahead and just drag that on if you want to you can just go to the very beginning <clears throat> okay and just go uh to right there and uh trim the clip after that and just go into fusion go and drag in uh my pre-shake right here and i'm just gonna manually keyframe it since it's easier keyframe at the beginning at uh zero and then go to the end and put it at uh, 0, 0.5 and it should, should look like this that's a nice pre shake and then for the next uh, now we're going to sync it so drag in your next clip uh, as like I just said and just uh, line it like once again just trim this down and just find where the kill is. Trim that down. Find where this kill is. Should be like right here. Yeah, it's right here. Not letting me, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure why. It's not letting me trim back. Okay, there we go. So, right here, you get the kill about right here, and then just drag this back, and then there you go. So, now just go ahead and do that velocity one more time. Go ahead and go on to the kill, and then go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then after that go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then just go ahead and set this to 50. Uh, 400. 150. And then just switch the rest to 50. Oh, and before we do that, uh, make sure the clips are unlinked. And just put that on 50. Uh, 400. And then finally switch that to 150. And then 50. Then you are done with the velocity. And you can just go ahead and copy the impact since it is on an adjustment layer, which makes it so much nicer. And then just go ahead and cut and cut, delete, oh, not, don't delete the song. And it should just look like this. And then the next thing we're going to do is add the beat shake. Go ahead and just drag an adjustment clip on. And just like that, just cut it up a bit. And then just go ahead and open this in the fusion tab and then drag in uh, my beat shake preset. Um, we're just gonna manually beat shake, uh, manually keyframe it since it is, uh, just easier to do that since it is only one effect. Go ahead and keyframe it to, uh, one, then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then put it at zero. So it should look like that, and, um, once you do add that in, uh, you can go ahead and put this on quarter resolution if it isn't already. Uh, there you go. 
so I'll show it like that. And then the final thing you're gonna do is you can just go ahead and duplicate this. Nice part of adjustment clips. Duplicate it, put it above this, and this time we're gonna add a sort of uh, flicker uh, desaturation. So go ahead and just add in uh, S underscore monochrome and keep in the mix with source at 100 and keep it in the beginning and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Make sure it's 30 frames before the kill and go and just keyframe it here and then at the very end keyframe to zero. And the final thing we're going to add is a S underscore flicker and we're going to keyframe at the very beginning at zero and go at the very end at 45 like that. and uh, I think we're gonna put the monochrome what I like doing is I like putting it 15 something like that looks very nice so once you do that uh, here is um, your the whole montage should look like and then the final thing is the final clip, so go ahead and just drag that on. And then just... just the last beat is right here. So go ahead and just make a marker on that. And then drag this back. Until you find the... Uh, the uh, kill. So something about here. Okay, so go ahead and just drag this back. So the kill for me is about right here, and then I'm just going to drag that back, and then just do the read time again, uh, unlinked clips, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we switch to 50, 400, and 150, and then 50, so right here there's a beat right here so we can add a beat shake here as well so the good thing about this is we can just go ahead and copy our impact since it's uh, very easy we can just copy it there and put it right on the kill and then also this one right below is our beat shake so we can just copy that as well and put that right on this beat right here so play back well I'm going to play this and then just uh, cut it right here, cut it right here, and delete. And then I'll link a uh, pump sound effect in the description. So I'll, I'll just go to my sound effects and just look up pump because I have a pump. So just get the pump sound effect. And I'll, uh, just a pump right here. Simple pump. I think you can get a better one than that, uh, heavy pump looks good. Okay, uh... Spaz 200, okay, here we go. And just put this under all this, and rate increase the volume to about, uh, 10, I think, 15, yeah, 15. So just sync that up, this, these big waveforms up like that. So now you can just go and copy this if you want. You can even put a marker on it just to know when the, it actually starts. And then just uh, copy and put it on this other, uh, other marker. And then just go paste it over here too. And then just like this. Okay, and there is your uh, nice highlights. Make sure you do subscribe and like as it does help me out very much. And uh, see you guys in the next video.